sure guys it's this phonic here and welcome back to my channel if you are new here make sure to subscribe for more videos like this otherwise in today's video i want to show you guys how you can extract or find out the cause that we used in a particular song so i'll be showing you how you can extract detect or find out which notes were used together to make out that uh, chord progression um, the nice thing about this method is that um, you do not need any extra uh, or external VST or plugin. Everything that you need is already installed right on FL Studio. The only thing that you need is FL Studio to do it. So yeah, without wasting much of your time, let's get into it. Uh, make sure to like if you enjoyed the video, leave a comment. Um, let's throw some love. Let's interact down by the comments. Let me know what you guys think about the video and don't forget to share so that other producers can um, see and find this to be helpful. Uh, let's get into it. Now we are here in F4 Studio. The first thing that we'll have to do is drag and drop the song that we're going to extract chords from. Um, I have a few Ama Piano songs here. They have um, smooth, mellow chords. I think it's easier to demonstrate with one of them. Uh, but I'm going to change the BPM and take it to 112, which is a typical BPM for Ama Piano songs. I prefer changing the BPM before you drag and drop any sample. So let's drag and drop that song. Now that we've added the song, we want to detect the chords from onto our playlist. We now have to locate um, a part of the song where there's a chord progression. There's a drum kit on that section, so let's get to the next one. All right, we hear that there's a chord progression over here. Um, but we're not going to choose to loop this section. We're going to choose to loop this section rather because this is where they end a lot of sounds playing. It's only a drum kit and a chord progression, but it's a bit busy here because there's uh, addition of more elements like vocals and so and so. So it's, so it's going to be a bit difficult to detect the chords. Um, so let's just go to that section and mark it just like that. Now we are going to move on to our mixer. Go to the master channel and add this plugin, Wave Candy. So this is the plugin that we're going to use to detect the chords. Just extend it like that. Um, okay, cool. Let's extend it. And then now we're going to adjust this plugin. Just go to Spectrum and um, switch the bands to 4096 bands and adjust the scale um, like that. Um, now we're going to press play and then after we've had enough of the chords, we're going to freeze it in order for us to observe what's happening in the song. Now I'm just going to press play. All right. So make sure to freeze this now we are going to analyze this um, spectrum as you can see there are these yellow orange solid lines this is where they are chords um, actually the notes that are used to build up the chords so we're going to copy this onto our piano roll these are the actual chords that are used to make up this song but how are we going to do that so if you put your pointer or your cursor there if you look down there, it's going to um, indicate which note that is. For this note, um, if you can read down there, it's E2. So let's just um, copy all of these into our piano roll. Um, let's add a piano. I'm going to use Purity for that. Where's Purity? There we go. And then go to Preset and then Digitine um cool so let's try plugging all of these notes onto our piano roll i'm just gonna show you how to do that um cool the first note is e2 so let's take this down to e2 and then the next one is g3 G3 and then the next one is B3 
d3 and then we now have d4 let's go to d4 all right and then we have g4 all right cool let's just play what we have as you can hear it sounds too low but that doesn't mean that um it didn't detect the right keys we just need to transpose it on an octave upward hold control and an arrow upward that sounds more like it so i'm gonna do the same thing for the rest of these chords and then we'll then listen to how it sounds overall two seconds later all right, so now I've copied all of the notes from Wave Candy onto my piano roll. Now we're just gonna press play and listen to how it sounds now and then tell whether this method works or not or this plugin works or not. Um, yeah, let's just press play. I think we can also strum this. Just hold Alt plus S to give it that human feel and make sure to preserve your ends. Uh, let's paste this onto the playlist. Now let's try see if this chord progression blends well with an AMA piano drum kit. So let's try build an AMA piano drum kit and play it alongside with the chord progression and hear how that will sound. I will use my AMA piano sample packs. These are available on my store. I'll leave a link down on the description. I'll appreciate it if you guys go and buy this sample pack. It will also help grow the channel. Uh, let's load a kick. Okay. That sounds fine. I'm just gonna fill each four steps and then adjust the time. Now let's proceed with percussions, but I'm not gonna waste time building this um, drum kit. I'm just gonna paste in the loops that I already have. These are also part of the sample pack, which you guys can um, purchase on my store. The link is under the description. Now let me just fill this up and then lower down the volume. Cool. Now let's press play. Oh, let's switch to song mode and then press play. it more mellow we can add um, I think to make it mel more mellow we can add a uh, fruity chorus uh, fruity chorus and just lower down the volume Yeah, I think I'm happy with the way Wave Candy detected the keys that were used to build up the chord progression of the song. I think it was accurate enough for me. Um, yeah, let me know what you guys think about um, the video. Did you enjoy it? If you did, please do leave a like. I hope you learned a lot from it. And yeah, that's it from me today, guys. Don't forget to share the video so that other producers can watch the content. Otherwise, I'll catch you on my next one. Cheers.